All right, sulfur might be the most confusing OTC acne ingredient out there, so let's talk about it. The data. Compared to other acne ingredients like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, sulfurous data is actually pretty sparse. A lot of the interesting testing can be dated all the way back to the 60s, and to make it worse, most of the testing is done with other actives like BPO, so we actually have very little insight into what sulfur actually does. The other problem with sulfur is that it's very difficult to work with. It actually doesn't like going into anything. This is why you'll often find sulfur in unconventional formats, either some sort of biphase concoction or it's suspended in glycols. But to answer the real question, what are we even using sulfur for? At the end of the day, the data points to sulfur being a keratolytic more than anything else. The way it helps with cell turnover is a different mechanism than, say, your typical salicylic acid. This is actually why it can be used as a Hail Mary spot treatment to help tackle that one inconvenient extra angry pimple that sprung up at the wrong time. Now, the other side of the story is that actual sulfur products are a whole different circus that I'll talk about in the next video. Meanwhile, definitely let us know which sulfur products you've tried that you loved or hate.